Creating a horror video game on the surface seems like a really simple idea. You just plop your character into a world of trouble and have all manner of ghoulies attempt to turn their insides to outsides. One need only glance at the horror selection on Steam to see the countless examples of jump scares, body horror and other forms of nastiness. But while it might be an easy market to exploit, crafting a worthy horror game is much, much harder. It all revolves around empowerment, as while many other genres of video games seek to act as pseudo power fantasies, horror on the other hand seeks to remove any sense of power that the player might have in order to make the threat of zombies, aliens or ghosts carry greater impact. However, just because you're successful at creating fear and dread within the player, it doesn't mean that you can't have some fun doing so, as the weapons on this list, well, they broke all the survival horror or gothic doom rules and we love them all the more for it. With this in mind, I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com and these are 8 secret video game horror weapons that broke all the rules. Number 8. Sexy Beam – Silent Hill 3 One of the best things about the Silent Hill series is that every game explores a different set of psychological fears. From Silent Hill 2 showcasing sexual repression and guilt to Homecoming's attempt to reflect trauma and PTSD, enemies and bosses all come to reflect dark aspects of the human psyche. And Silent Hill 3 was no different, lambasting consumerism and sexual assault in a truly terrifying way. Which makes it all the more strange that you can not only unlock a Sailor Moon-inspired costume for protagonist Heather, but when combined with another unlockable known as the Heather Beam, well, it allows you to create <clears throat> the Sexy Beam. To better explain, by typing in Princess Heart into a typewriter, you get the ability to don the new costume. And by killing 333 enemies, you gain access to the Heather Beam, a psychic laser of sorts that Heather can use to battle the enemies of the title. If you've got the Heather Beam unlocked before transforming into Princess Heart, you gain access to an upgraded version which can fire off even more heart-shaped lasers and allows Heather to run around without getting tired. In one fell swoop, the game completely changes as now you can banter off all comers while legging it away as much as possible. It goes without saying that this is all very strange. Number 7. The Hand Cannon – Dead Space 2 As anyone who's played Dead Space will know, this game's monumental success comes not just from its fantastic enemy design, but also its carefully designed environments that seek to provoke a sense of claustrophobic dread in the player at every turn. Each hallway is crafted so that danger could burst out from anywhere. The lighting is inconsistent, causing you to falter under flickering or fading glows, and each sound of the clattering claws and appendages are now drowned out by Isaac Clarke making guns noises? Yeah, it's uh, a thing. You can see how the hand cannon kind of shatters the game's tone, right? This literal finger gun can be unlocked by completing the game on hardcore mode, and trust me, it's entirely worth the struggle to do so, as this weapon not only kicks ass, but is hilarious to use as well. With it equipped, you'll tear through the necromorphs like they're made of wet bread, and you'll get the accompanying sound of Isaac going bang bang, pew pew, which just makes it all the better. It's also got unlimited ammo, meaning that nothing will stand in your way. It's actually a bit of a shame that you get this so late in your time with Dead Space 2, but then again, it's just so funny that it's worth another trip just to see it in action. Number 6. Infinite Rocket Launcher – Resident Evil 3 The Resident Evil franchise is no stranger to having incredible unlockables, and one of my all-time series high was playing through Resident Evil 4 as a mafia-clad Leon wielding a Tommy gun, with Ashley in tow wearing a suit of armour that prevented her from being picked up and carried off. It was utter bliss. In fact, I wanted to put that suit of armour on the list as it completely breaks the tension of the game, however, it's not really a weapon, and the Chicago typewriter is a decent gun, but it's not completely broken but the infinite rocket launcher, yeah, you can see where I'm going with this. When you're able to lug around an RPG with unlimited ammo, suddenly the tense and dread-drenched world of Resident Evil becomes a lunatic's playground. It's a weapon that pops up tons across the series, usually being unlocked by grinding for hours and hours in order to afford it, but once this weapon is in your possession, even Mr. X and Nemesis will give you a wide berth. Poor old Dr. Salvador, where once you'd be running and screaming from his chainsaw, now you're just goading him to get close enough to eat a rocket. Still, it's hilarious fun. Number 5 any unlockable Dead Rising weapon. Honestly, when it comes to Dead Rising, it's quite mind-blowing to see just how many ways you can re-dead the undead. From drill buckets to blanker masks that shock victims to death, all the way to equipping mecha suits to batter foes into the ground like they were but fleshy tent pegs, Dead Rising is a non-stop thrill ride. Well, outside of Dead Rising 4, that is, that was pretty gash. But when it comes to customizable weapons, it can't really be beat. And Capcom ingeniously tied the creation of these makeshift more 
footballers into the game's world itself, with protagonists having to locate blueprints in order to craft them, meaning that there was a huge incentive to explore the game world and defeat psychopaths in order to unlock them. In fact, so numerous are they that it's genuinely hard to pick one for this list. However, if I was to look for a weapon that broke all the rules in a pretty laid-back horror title, then I'd have to say it's the ultimate Grim Reaper. This weapon not only has immense crowd control and durability, but by pressing the heavy or alt attack button, it does a spinning hit that clears enemies around you, but also fires out grenades. In this one instance, you become death itself, claiming souls with glee, cackling as the zombies try and fail to get anywhere near you. Number 4. Delicious Curry Castlevania Aria of Sorrow when you think of Castlevania, your mind probably conjures up images of Dracula, of whips, of holy waters, and quite possibly some tasty wall chicken. And it's this last feature that actually has a big connection to this next weapon, for in Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, you can wield the mighty and spicy fury of a delicious curry. So you see, the skeleton waiters in this game throw this deadly dish down at Soma's feet, causing damage if you accidentally step on it. It's unclear whether this damage comes from our protagonist being unable to handle the spices or just because it's bad form to step on well-prepared food. However, if you fancy turning the tables and forcing the enemy to chow down on some pain, you can do so by absorbing the waiter's skeleton's soul. By doing this, the powers of this undead foe are yours to wield, and you can even level up the damage and deliciousness of this weapon, turning it from a simple dish into a rather extravagant one. Plus, there's nothing quite like the immersion-breaking moment of taking down a boss using a plate of curry. Number 3. A Bar of Soap Dusk. When you think of weapons that pack more punch than a rocket-fisted Mike Tyson, chances are you'll think of guns like Doom's BFG, and rightly so, as firepower on this scale could level a planet in the wrong hands. However, what if I were to tell you that this next weapon makes the BFG look like a squirt gun by comparison? You wouldn't believe me, right? Nor would you if I told you that this weapon is actually a bar of soap. Yes, that's right, in Dusk, a frantic FPS about Lovecraftian horrors, demonic possession, and more gore than WWE Rhino taking down Al Gore, there's several bars of soap hidden around the game. Now normally this would be a, hmm, this is quite odd moment, but if you pick up the soap and throw it at an enemy, you'll find out that it does the most damage in the game per single shot, normally obliterating the cultist or demon or possessed soldier in your path and turning them into red paste. It's an incredibly strange weapon to say the least, and it's one that actually changes the flow of the game entirely. Now normally you have to run and most definitely gun at lightning speeds, but now you're kind of playing fetch with yourself, making for some truly odd moments. Number 2. Enlarging Your Johnson – Shadows of the Damned Right, so very few opportunities in life present themselves to talk about how a video game drops the entire premise of guns just appearing phallic and instead just out and out tells you that this gun in your hand is your dick. So of course, I'm going to relish talking about Shadows of the Damned. Now Johnson, your sentient floating skull of a friend, is at every turn almost ham-fistedly so referenced with such sexual innuendo when he's a weapon that it's impossible not to see him as Garcia the Demon Hunter's penis. Hell, his base form is literally called the Boner, so it's hardly subtle. However, as this ludicrous TV ad showed, you can enlarge your Johnson through the use of special gems. Collecting enough of these would let you upgrade Johnson in several ways, each of which making him more powerful and deadly. Now, Shadows of the Damned is a horror game that definitely focuses on making you feel like a badass, so it's already kind of breaking a lot of the genre's own rules here, but when Johnson is fully dicked, I mean decked out, he's so utterly overpowered that he can legitimately break the game. Sure, you might be facing down an undead horde, but when you can throw out four skull bombs that would level a skyscraper, it's not exactly scary. And number one, bloodstained ritual of the night, the Sicilian Slicer. In a very strange trend, there are actually a ton of video games that feature food as a weapon. From Resident Evil 5's deadly rotten egg through to Fantasy Star having food tie-in weapons, it seems that everywhere you look there's an opportunity to beat down someone with an oversized bit of beef. Yet it's completely strange to find this Sicilian slicer in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. As while this game doesn't take itself too seriously across the board, it does maintain a horror or gothic aesthetic throughout. 
and it definitely changes the feel of the game when you're taking down massive monsters and unholy demons while wielding a slice of pizza. Now, a pizza slicer I'd have understood more, but this literally is a gooey dose of cheesy dough. So by entering Steven Plays in as your character name, you'll get access to this weapon, and it does provide a sizable buff to your attack, making the early stages of the game a little bit easier. So not only did this pizza pain poker provide a completely ridiculous weapon to use, but altered the early game sections entirely to make it a breeze, which gives a whole new meaning to the term cheesing it. And there we go, my friends. Those were eight secret video game horror weapons that broke all the rules. I hope you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. But if you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice, my personal gaming channel, where I do tons of live streaming every Wednesday and Sunday. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. We detailed today about video game weapons that broke all the rules. But you know what, my friend? I'm going to break the rules myself and address you personally and break down some walls as well. Because you know what? There's something very important that we can all do for ourselves today and that is simply to check in with ourselves to ask ourselves are we okay do i need help with things am i feeling in the right state of mind to deal with current situations and you know what if the answer is no on any of them then that is completely okay you're not alone friends family and professionals in the support industry these people care about you and want you to do well and i wish nothing but the best for you okay I hope that if you are struggling that you can start those conversations with somebody important or close to you. It can be difficult, but trust me, it could be the step towards living a healthier and happier life. Big love from me to you. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.